there's no more coffee. I guess it's time to uh, start my day. why I bother showering and looking all pretty for you guys when it's 89 degrees. It's not 89 degrees. I, I think that's broken because I feel like I could fry some fucking eggs on my dashboard. It's really hot down here. I'm not having fun anymore this summer. Like this, I'm, I'm over it. It's, it's too hot. Can't take the heat. I'm not even in the kitchen, so I can't even get out. It's not like that's gonna fix anything. It's currently 10:30 a.m. on a Thursday. Why are there so many goddamn cars on the road? Anyway, I hope everybody had a safe Fourth of July. I'm very jealous that Kenny and Glenn were able to go visit Chris. I looked up. I looked it up on the on the on the map. It's like a 10 hour drive from my house to Raleigh. Um, flights currently are looking at like 550 round trip. So I'm gonna wait for that to die. I mean, I love Chris. I do love Christopher, but I'm gonna wait for that price to just drop a little bit more before I come visit him. Maybe, the, I mean, the car ride might work. Maybe like pick up Rahino on the way up there or something. And then we'll just we'll just fucking we'll party so hard we'll get kicked out of rally. Fuck it, that's what we're, that's what's gonna happen. Um, yeah. So going about my day, I had I used up like the last uh, K cup Keurig thing of uh, coffee. So I'm heading to the store to get coffee. My family also feeds my Pepsi addiction because they're all they all drink Pepsi as well. And Pepsi like the 12 pack of cans is like four for ten which is a fantastic deal if you don't normally buy Pepsi. Four for 10 at uh, at Target. So yeah, just doing a little shopping. I might, I don't know, just poke around some other stores because I have like nothing to do today. Um, probably just need to do laundry like my normal days off. I, I, so I really need to go to Home Depot because fingers crossed with any luck, we're gonna be getting this townhouse and like next Friday we'll be closing on it and uh, we really don't have much furniture going into this um, when we moved out of our apartment in Orlando we, we sold off really everything that we could we saved a uh, queen-size bed like we saved the mattress from the, from the room just the mattress actually it was a platform bed so there's no box spring we sold the frame um, like the platform frame and everything sold all the dressers um, so what do we have? We have like one cheap desk. I'd love to upgrade the desk, but you know, if I, I really don't need to, I guess. So. so at some point I shifted my finger and I hit the button on accident and stopped recording. You guys saw maybe like three minutes of my conversation driving. I think I talked for like a total 15 minutes. So I'm not even gonna try to repeat everything I said. Um, I love you all and I'll check in shortly. Okay, so slight, not change of plans, slight alteration of plans. Uh, Ju I gave Justin a call and he's sitting in the office. He's got to do like the mid-year reviews for, for his team. So he's writing those up right now. So he said he's stuck in the office all day. I said, this is one of the last uh, burrito Thursdays I could enjoy at Tijuana Flats. And he said, well, fuck it. Let's go to Tijuana Flats. So I'm going to stop at Costco quick because I got to drive up near him. 
since he's like doing office work all day. So we're gonna go. There's a Tijuana Flats up off of PGA Boulevard, um, down by the ocean. So I'm a little further out west right now, but I'm gonna make the stop, pick up the coffee and the stuff that I need, and I'm gonna go meet him. It's like 10:40 now. Everybody's well. There's like group texts that keep saying 10:4, 10:4, and it's making me laugh because it's literally 10:40. Um, but so yeah, it's like I. I'm gonna stop and then by the time I get up there, probably like 11.30, nah, probably like 12 o'clock for lunch, which is actually a great lunch time. So, yeah, this is, this has turned out to be a good day. Maybe I'll go to like the outlets while I'm up there. Probably not. Then I'll just spend money. I really don't even like shopping. Every time you guys see me, I'm spending money. What the fuck is wrong with this? Can we just get Costco to sponsor our fucking videos? Why do I always end up at this store? So I know this is gonna be a shock to everybody, so hold on to your seats. I am designated as a high volume shopper. And they were trying to get me to sign up for the Costco executive membership. They said I would get more money back or something. And it's, it's like $40 to sign up. And they're like, but if you don't get back at least $40, like we'll refund your membership fee of $40. <sighs> I told them maybe next week. Um, I, I just thought that was kind of funny because I was already commenting on how often I'm here. And then as soon as they like scan my membership card, I was checking out they're like huh Matthew have we talked to you about our executive program so I found coffee um, I ended up just going with the Kirkland brand because it was really cheap there's a cop over there or something I don't know what he's doing um, I went with the Kirkland brand there's like three cops over there I went with the Kirkland brand it was like 120 little cups for like 30 bucks really really good deal and so yeah now I'm heading to go get some burritos with Justin uh, so I actually got to give him a call let him know I got to punch it into my my GPS and see how long it's gonna take me to get there so let me go do that and then maybe if I come up with something interesting to talk about I'll come back I normally just like blabber for like 10 15 minutes and I it, there's never like a cohesive like build up you know like beginning middle and end there's no story to my vlogs I just kind of talk to you guys and then say okay I'm gonna check in later and then I don't I end up just downloading all the videos to my computer and I cut them together real quick and that's what you guys get and that's probably what's gonna happen today let's not lie but all right let me let me call Justin and then we'll see what's going on okay so it's like 1 30 I already had our burritos. I ended up having to go to Justin's office because right when I was uh, getting off the highway, I told him, you know, I'd be at Tijuana Flats in like 10 minutes. <laughs> he said something just came down from like the director, something he was due at noon. So I went into the office. I'd actually never been uh, in that Comcast office. It was kind of cool. Um, got to see his, his office, whatever, where his desk is. And... Uh, and then we just went and got burritos. I dropped him back off at the office, and now I am on my way home. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. Um, I was talking earlier. I was talking for a while, and the camera wasn't rolling the whole time, so I don't, I can't even remember now what you guys actually heard and what you did in here. Um, but I know one thing I was. I was talking about I, I might go up to Home Depot because you know with any luck we got like two more weeks until we get this townhouse and we really don't have any furniture we have a mattress for the master bedroom that's pretty much it like I, I still need either a box spring and a frame or I need a platform frame which I think that's that's what we're gonna go with anyway we, we tend to like that better but you know, I don't really have a kitchen table or chairs or anything. We sold all of that when we when we got out of our uh, last apartment in Orlando, and you know we've been slow, like slowly selling stuff. Uh, a couple things on eBay, a couple things on Craigslist. So we don't have too much left. I have like maybe two bookcases, a desk, and that's it. I, 
almost everything else we sold. So we got we got to find some furniture. I found a couple decent plans. I like I like doing woodwork, and I found a couple decent plans for uh, like a dining room table, something I could make myself. I probably should have done that on my two days off, but I'm thinking I might go up to Home Depot later at least get the material. Probably won't have time to really do much today. Maybe just cut a couple of the pieces of wood down to size, maybe sand them. But then I'm thinking, you know, I could just stack them up and the next week, my, you know, across my three days, I could get uh, the table put together. But anyway, my sorry, so my thinking is the dining room table is kind of a big piece of furniture to make and I've never made any furniture. It's just one of those things like I saw it and it looked easy and there's like, oh, there's no reason I can't do that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do take the same plans, just shrink it down and do a coffee table instead. So that might be what I do. I think I'm gonna go home first. Um, I desperately need water. I'm very thirsty. And then I'll probably just like relax for a few minutes, maybe watch a TV show or something. Um, I've been watching a lot of 30 Rock lately. And then, yeah, maybe then I'll head back up to, up to Home Depot. It's really, it's like one block up, up the road from where I live. So go to Home Depot, grab some wood, some wood glue. I know dad's got plenty of hardware and uh, nuts and bolts and sandpaper and stuff. So I really should just need like the wood and the wood glue, maybe a filler. And then I'll worry about like staining and painting it later. I'm, what, this is what I was thinking. So like a white tabletop and then just the like the legs, the, the frame and the legs of the table would be like a dark, dark wood stain. I think it could look really nice. We'll see though. Um, 1.30. 1.30. There's little kids running around. Summer school must have just got out. Okay guys. Hope y'all are having a good day. Why? What? What the heck? It thinks there's somebody in my passenger seat. It's saying that the seatbelt needs to be clicked. But there's nobody there. That doesn't make any sense.
think this vlog needs one more clip. What's up guys? Uh, so I didn't end up doing any of the shit that I said I was going to do. I got home and I played guitar for a while and I played some video games. If anybody's ever played Overwatch, it's a great first person shooter on PC. They just released a new character, kind of, uh, the way Overwatch does it, they have like, there's different like servers that you could play on, on the PC. And they have what they call a public test region. So it's a separate server from where you normally play the game. And that's where they like release new stuff like while they're still testing it out. So they just released a new character that we've kind of been waiting for. And he's in the test region. So I was playing with that earlier. And then you saw me playing guitar and uh, it sounds terrible. I didn't realize how out of tune the guitar was until I was listening to the, the stuff, like the recording back. Um, the phone did not record the guitar that well, and you could hear a lot of, like, the clicking. Um, didn't sound all that great for you guys. Sounded good for me. I was having fun. Um, I think I recorded, like, 20 minutes worth of playing guitar. A lot of it got lost. The The phone just stopped recording at some point. Um, but, yeah, so now I'm, I'm, like, sitting here editing it all together, and the last thing you guys see is me playing guitar. So I want to come back and talk. And I mean, that's, that's kind of all I have going on. Um, what's going on in the world? Trump is in Europe. He's in Germany. Is he in Germany? I knew he was in Poland yesterday. Germany, Hamburg for the Hamburg, Germany. I said it backwards for the G20 summit. I saw there was like crazy protests, not just against him. Kind of, it looked like against the whole g20 as a whole um some actually quite violent protests in hamburg like police with water cannons and stuff so that was interesting to watch trying to keep an eye on that and just you know i like i'm not gonna lie like i don't like the guy but like fingers are just crossed that he doesn't say anything stupid i hope he just reads the teleprompter say what you gotta say sound like an american president and then just get out of there before you screw anything up that's kind of my my thoughts to him right now. I, my fingers are just crossed that he doesn't make us look like idiots. So, so once again, I hope you guys just had a safe 4th of July and I miss you all. Hope you guys had fun watching me uh, take my morning shit in my shower and then I brush my teeth. <laughs> oh, I had too much time on my hands this morning and it was fun like I was cracking up the whole time I was recording those videos I was like oh they're gonna they're gonna love this hey so I got these books they're pretty cool hold on so so I got these books called sorcery and they're old they're really old um uh, I, I had to buy them all used. I don't think they are even in print. But by a guy named Steve Jackson, if you're into games, there's another Steve Jackson. This is not the same Steve Jackson, if you were wondering. Um, but anyway, he he, write, he wrote a whole bunch of, like, build your own adventure books. This particular one, Sorcery, there's four parts. This is actually book number one. I got all four books because I thought they were kind of cool. It actually all started from, like, an app like an android game that was on sale called sorcery come to find out that the first one was free but they actually have apps like part two three four two three and four and uh anyway i did some research and they're actually they were actually based on like real books and this is a build your own adventure so like as you go through your character comes up like you have decisions like uh, will you prepare to attack or do you want to try to edge around peacefully? And it tells you, you know, like if you want to attack it, you got to go to whatever this is, this paragraph 252, or if you want to go around peacefully, you go to 236. And so you kind of like, you're flipping around the book based on your decisions and you could actually have uh, like multiple different uh, adventures built into just, you know, in the one book, just based on the decisions you make, whether you want to, uh, kill somebody or try to get around them or if you have an option to trade like if you actually want to buy something and put it in your inventory there's a little bit of a character sheet that you need to like try to keep track of and it's like how much health you have and stuff like that but 
they're actually a lot of fun, and I've been just kind of messing around with that in my free time. Um, it because like it reminds me of the app, but at the same time, because it's a book, I could put my phone down, and then if I get a text message or if there's like something on Facebook, like a notification, I could just ignore it. It's a lot harder to ignore if I'm playing a game on my phone and like the the thing pops up on the screen. So this reminds me of the game I was playing on my phone. I know, right? First world problems. Like this is really how you used to play games, but I'd much prefer this than to playing a game on my phone because then I don't have to worry about wasting the battery and I don't have to worry about the notifications. I could just bring this book wherever I want with me. I don't need, I don't need like a power source. Um, sorcery. There's four parts. If y'all want, like I know, I know my sister. I think already played through two. She like stole a book from me, and played through. But if somebody wants to borrow them when I'm done, they're they're kind of cool. A fighting fantasy game book in which you are the hero. Mm, since I'm already bringing in props, this like the coolest thing ever. And I still, like, beat people up with it sometimes. Like, my sister comes in and is like, get out! Is there a Spider-Man movie coming out this week? Oh, is it tomorrow? Is Spider-Man coming out tomorrow? Damn it, I'm gonna be at work. Oh, man. I wanna see Spider-Man. This sucks. I'm looking around for more props to bring into my video. There's nothing else good. Alright, I'm gonna end it there. So, I'll see you guys later.